to YouTube, Philly Joe here, hope everyone's doing well. Um, it's been quite a while since my last actual um, video, um, apart from video game footage and whatnot. Um, I hope everyone's doing well uh, during this coronavirus lockdown period. Um, I've got a new tablet which I'm using. Uh, if I keep looking to the my right, your left, it's because I keep looking at actually, actually me on the screen. I'll try to look at the camera as much as I can. So, um, yeah, usually I'm talking about retro video game collecting. There's not been a lot of that this year, to be fair. Still played a lot of retro video games through um, collections and whatnot. Um, and also the old, old, retro, old retro console up in the loft, still playing a bit of Nintendo 64 in there and Super Nintendo. Uh, I've got a couple of the mini uh, consoles, such as the... Uh, SNES Classic Mini, NES Classic Mini, and I did purchase the Sega Meg Drive Mini um, Classic uh, just before I was uh, furloughed from work and it arrived while I was furloughed. So I can't do much about that until I get back to work. Uh, anywho, um, this video, as you can probably tell by the title, is regarding questions, regarding questions about the 1990s. Uh, I really wanted to do a video on this because uh, I'm a 90s kid through and through, born in 1982, so um, both um, being a child and through to my teen years was in the 90s. So um, this is a uh, re response to uh, Barry and Josh from the Retro Shed doing their own video on 1990s questions, so thank you for allowing me to do this. Um, I got it down to 10 questions, slightly, one or two slightly modified from the ones that you guys answered. Um, please visit their channel, Retro Sh The Retro Shed. Uh, brilliant, brilliant guys. Um, really great content. Uh, keep up the good work, Barry. I hope to uh, see you in the near future when all this is said and done. So I've got 10 questions um, which I'm going to answer and hopefully put some footage and whatnot up on this video as well uh, when I edit it. And yeah, let's see how it goes. So, uh, question one, uh, favourite 1990s cartoon? Uh, I had to scratch my head a, a little bit about this because uh, when you say cartoons, animated series such as um, What About Futurama, uh, you know, the actual sitcoms, um, but then you've got your kids' cartoons, um, Rugrats, uh, Ren and Stimpy, um, Rocco's Modern Life and stuff like that. They're the ones that spring to mind uh, that I liked when I was I was younger. Then you have your adult com comedies such as Beavis and Butthead and The Tick and other MTV shows and things like that. Um, but then it's it kind of easy, this one. Um, when I was really thought about it, I said, there's no other uh, show like it in the 90s. Um, as, as funny as it was, and as funny as it still is today, but in the 1990s, it has to be The Simpsons. Uh, the first 11 seasons are just breath like, breathtakingly funny. Um, to this day, with the, I've got the Disney Plus um, subscription, watching um, The Simpsons back to back all the time uh, with my six-year-old daughter. She loves uh, some of the jokes as well. She loves the characters. Uh, we, we replay specific parts of episodes that she loves. And I'll still never ever for not laugh at someone a man getting hit in the groin by a football. It's it's, it's amazing. Anyway, um, yes, of course it had to be The Simpsons. Um, so yeah, that's my favourite nineties cartoon. Uh, question number two, uh, quite difficult on this. Uh, Sega or Nintendo? Now, <laughs> what I have to think about is what I was thinking then back in the 90s to what I think now. I love Sega and I love Nintendo, you know, um, at the time, um, I was all Nintendo. Um, a friend of mine had a Super Nintendo before I knew anyone else had, I think it was about 91 or 92, uh, but everyone else had Sega Mega Drives. Um, this is a really tricky one, and even to this day, I'll go back and forth, um, but I'm, I'm gonna have to go with Nintendo on this one, um, the, the plethora of video games that come out, you know, you had the Nintendo from the 80s, NES from the 80s, and then the Super Nintendo when that hit in 1991 was amazing, utterly, utterly amazing. 
and then fired from the N64 in 96, 97 time. Utterly breathtaking. Um, everyone knows who Nintendo is. Uh, Zelda, Donkey Kong, Mario, um, Kirby. Oh, you know, we could just go on forever, you know, um, with the amount of video games that came out in the 1990s. So I'm going to go with Nintendo. I'm a massive fan of Sega as well, uh, but Nintendo, you know, the greatest video game company in the world for me. Um, so, uh, question number three, favourite 1990s console? Uh, <laughs> now this one's this one, another tough one. A lot of these are very tough, not quite uh, black and white. Um, so I've, had to, I've narrowed them down to toe and I'm going to have to make a decision. So when I was thinking about this, I thought about the, my favourite um, console of all time, which is the Sega Dreamcast. Uh, that was actually released in October 1999, and that's barely the 90s, that's like three months of the 90s, you know, it doesn't define the 1990s for me, I didn't buy mine until the beginning of 2000, so I'm not going to put that in this list, um, even though it's my favourite console of the time. Um, I've narrowed it down to two consoles, uh, the Super Nintendo and Sony Playstation, the first Sony Playstation. So I thought I'd just throw Rosie then, the cat. Um, it's a tough call. Super Nintendo was uh, me being a kid, you know, between 91 and 95. Uh, be before I became a teenager, I became a teenager in 95, then it was all about the Sony PlayStation as a teenager between 95 and 2000. Phenomenal, phenomenal games. Um, what holds the most memories for me? Is it, is it going to be the Super Nintendo as a kid or PlayStation as a teenager? <sighs> Can't make a decision, Rob. I think it's going to have to be the Sony PlayStation. Um, it didn't have a Super Nintendo until the mid-90s. If I would have had a Super Nintendo early on in its life, I'm sure it would have been you know, my favourite 90s console. Uh, but the, the Sony PlayStation holds so many amazing memories for me buying my own console, buying my own games, uh, actually get to choose what games I'm going to have, um, and the plethora of games, everything from Tomb Raider, Resident Evil, uh, Parappa the Rapper, um, what are the uh, PlayStation titles, uh, Crash Bandicoot, Spy with the Dragon, and everything in between, phenomenal, phenomenal console, and yeah, favourite 90s console, Sony PlayStation. And it was cool. It was just a cool console to have. And everyone that had it, you know, that they were mostly teenagers and adults as well. Not It wasn't deemed a kid's console. Whereas uh, Nintendo was more of a childish. It felt like, it, back then, it felt like a child's, you know, children's console. But if you're a teenager, you're rebelling a bit. You want to play these games. Metal Gear Solid, uh, more violent games and things like that. And the CD uh, power of the PlayStation been one of the first CD based um, consoles instead of the cartridge. Yeah, it, it sealed the deal for me. Um, anyway, question number four, uh, favourite 90s console game? Um, so I did a little bit of thinking and I'm going to have to go with Sonic Hedgehog, the original Sonic Hedgehog on uh, Sega Mega Drive. Purely because when I first saw that game it blew me away and um, I, can, I can always pinpoint what I was doing. Um, when I saw that video game and the impact it had on me. Um, yeah, and I love it to this day, and it's my second favourite video game of all time, so it deserves to be in this list. Um, <laughs> what's interesting is, um, I would say the Sonic the Hedgehog 1 is my favourite, even though 2 and 3 were really good as well. But uh, yeah, definitely the first Sonic the Hedgehog on Sega Mega Drive for that one. Uh, question number 5. Favourite 90s comic? Um, I've only ever collected one comic and it was mainly because my dad used to buy it for me um, and it was the Dino. Um, he had a, a few dandies, I think there was the dandy, um, he used to buy the annuals every year. You'd have um, Beano and dandy annuals, um, but the Beano was great. Growing up, um, even in the 80s, he even had like 70s ones as well, which I, I believe that he got my sister when she was um, younger. So, yeah, characters like Dennis and Menace and Nasher, of course, and you got um, Bash Street Kids. Um, God, it's been ages. Minnie the Minx, Ivy the Terrible. Um, 
and they are part of the uh, what do you call it? The Beano, the, the club. I can't remember what the club's called, but um, it's a, it wasn't just called the Beano Club or the Bash Street Club or something. I can't remember. But um, when you join the club, um, you had a secret. Um, if anyone else was in the club with you, you'd have a secret um, pa passcode you'd say to each other. So if someone says to you "ding," you say "dong." I don't know why I still remember that, but yeah, great, great times reading the Beano comics back in the nineties as a kid. Um, question number six: favorite nineteen nineties wrestler. Um, when it comes to wrestling, I mostly watch the wrestling over at my um, grandparents' house. Uh, they had cable, so I'd watch their, I think it was WWF Challenge or um, Sunday Night Heat. Um, it wasn't quite Monday Night Raw or um, SmackDown or anything like that. It was the, um, it was the kind of the mid-card um, wrestlers, like not the big Bret the Hitman Hart or um, Hulk Hogan or Ultimate Warrior or anything like that. It'd always be um, wrestlers like Brutus the Barber, Beefcake and... <laughs> like, um, who else can I, uh, Kamala and um, some of the, uh, oh, what the least know, Coco Beware and Tatanka, is it Tatanka? Tatanka, yeah, Tatanka and a few others, uh, Papa Shango and uh, other wrestlers that weren't, you know, high quality ones such as Hulk Hogan and whatnot, but um when it comes to 90s wrestling, I did watch a little bit of the Attitude Era, but not a lot of it. I watched a lot of WCW as well. Um, I went back and forth with my favourite wrestler from the 90s, um, but I've, I'm going with The Rock, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He was just phenomenal, you know. Started in 96 as Rocky Meyer Beer, became um, The Rock, uh, joined the Nation of Domination, then went out on his own, and his, his promos, his charisma his work in the ring was really good as well and um yeah yeah he's just brilliant i've got so much like uh, so much admiration for the rock as it you know as what he did um when it comes to like stone cold steve austin because they were the two large ones from the attitude there in the late 90s um of course i like stone cold steve austin uh who doesn't but for me it was the rock you know brilliant um i nearly went with Shawn michaels because I always remember, like, whenever I watched a Shawn Michaels match, it was just brilliant, amazing. You know, worked in the ring so well, um, especially with people like Brett Hitman Hart. He was also in the top, you know, the top five that I've put in here. Um, but I don't hold that many memories when it comes to Brett Hart. So definitely Shawn, Michael, uh, Shawn Michaels, a close second. But yeah, got to be The Rock. So I've um, got to get him on a bit, haven't I? Uh, question seven, favourite 90s song? Uh, you know, that's another really tough question, but I've narrowed it down to a particular one, a personal favourite of mine, um, one that I hold so many memories for, buying it on CD before it even came out over here. Uh, when I heard it on the radio, it wasn't, hadn't even charted yet, uh, and I bought it on an import from HMV for £4.99 on CD, and it's uh, Loser by Beck. That is just a phenomenal song. I love it so much. Of course, there's thousands of amazing songs from the 1990s but um yeah i had a good think about it and i, I adore that song so much whenever i hear it it brings back so many good memories so yeah beck with loser uh question number eight favorite 90s music video this is a good one because i used to love watching mtv all the time when they actually showed music videos and not shows um i'm gonna have to go with sabotage by the beastie boys um, if you've seen the video, you know what I mean. Um, amazing kind of 70s cop show, um, donut eating, gun slinging, uh, driving like maniacs, uh, big shades on, big you know, porn, porn tashes, and uh, yeah, sliding over bonnets and cars and doing all sorts of uh, mad things and then explosions and all that. It was just a great, great video, and, and the song is amazing. It's in my top three. Beastie Boys songs of all time. So yeah, uh, Sabotage by Beastie Boys. Uh, question number nine. Favourite live action TV show? Now this is a hard one. Again, like the favourite 90s cartoon, I had to think, is it going to be an adult based one? Is it going to be, um, you know, as a kid, that like, think, think like Nightmare or 
Biker Grove or Grange Hill or something like that, uh, or is it going to be um, an adult one? Um, not such, not even a sitcom, even a game show like uh, Who's Lined It Anyway on um, stuff like that. I even loved Fifteen to One at the time, uh, the Countdown. I used to love watching them them shows. Um, I always remember my mum used to get every question right. It always seemed like when we watched Fifteen to One, she would answer every single question. Right. I'm sure she did, but. Uh, no, I've, what I've gone with is a um, a show that I, I still to this day absolutely adore watching an old episode of on air uh, on YouTube. And this was just a pure 90s for me. When I first started secondary school in 93, um, I, I remember that I had a, a parents evening and I asked my dad to record it. And unfortunately, he didn't record the second half of the show. I think it cut off or something. Or it was at the end of the tape, you know, when you record on VHS. And um, I remember being so, so um, upset that the fact that it didn't record the second half. But it's a show released in 1993 and it was on Channel 4 and it was called, it was called Games Master with Dominic Diamond and uh, he was the host and Patrick Moore uh, was the Games Master and they used to have celebrities on that. I think you know like, what Games Master is if, you, you know, if, you, if you're watching it because of... Um, video games <laughs> uh, when they had celebrities on i actually went to a games master um taping in season three uh, it wasn't dominic diamond it was uh, dexter fletcher me and my sister and my dad went down to oxford and uh, they filmed in an old prison and they had a big screen and they superimposed the games master on after the recording uh, but we went down for the day and we actually met a guy that won the um uh, games master golden joystick and the celebrity was Moni Love, and she was playing Bugsy the Bobcat. So, <laughs> good times. Yeah, I, I used to love Games Master. Um, Dominic Diamond's dry wit weren't that good, but just being there, watching the games, watching um, the reviews, uh, everything 90s. Uh, whenever I look, look back on it now, there was quite a few series. I think it was about six or seven. Um, other shows from the 90s I loved, like stuff like Robot Wars, quite late 90s. And... Um, Hey, all of these like shows, of course, Nightmare and you know, um, around the twisters. I think that was around the twisters eighties, but uh, I remember watching it in the nineties a lot. Probably repeats. So yeah, favorite show, Games Master. And the last question, number ten, I've got favorite nineties film, and this one's easy because my favorite film of all time is from the nineteen nineties. It was released in nineteen ninety four, and the film is Pulp Fiction. Of course, directed by Quentin Tarantino. Quarantino, nearly called him there. Um, and yeah, it's my favourite film of all time. I don't really have much to say. Um, apart from if you've never watched it, just watch it. It's incredible. So yeah, that was my list of uh, 90s questions. Um, I want to um, see if anyone else wants to do their own list. So that's what, coming up to 19 minutes of time. So um, yeah. Really happy to go over those, and I'm just, just happy to talk about the 1990s because it's so nostalgic to me. It's my favourite era. It's the most incredible time of my, you know, life. Um, growing up from a kid to a teenager, um, my nut, my 18th birthday was just the first month of 2000. So um, yeah, I remember 99 was a crazy year. Uh, went to Cavos Corfu. Was a a mad 17 year old, I did a bungee jump, I drank way too much vodka, uh, good times. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you want to do your own, take these 10 questions, I'll put them in the description and um, yeah, do, do your own video if you want and then uh, let me know if you do. Okay, thank you for watching. Um, I'll try and get some of the videos done uh, sometime, uh, but thank you yeah, again for watching and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Cheers.